Hello ladies and gents, it's Jake here, and in case you're not aware, Batman has had a lot of video game appearances. Some of them great, some of them terrible, and a lot of them in between. In today's video, I wanted to go over five of the best costume designs for Batman in video games, and I'm actually going to be staying away from the Arkham series in this video, as I've given my thoughts on all those costumes already. Plus, this may help shed some light on a game or two that might not be as well known. Now the costumes that I talk about are not an indicator to the game's quality. Some games that I mention might not be all that good, but they just might have a good bat suit and therefore earn a spot on this list. Also, as a question of the day, I want to ask you all, what is your favorite design for Batman in video games outside of the Arkham series? With all that said, let's get started. The first design I want to talk about actually comes from a pretty bad game, and that's Batman Dark Tomorrow. Now a big reason why this costume is on this list is that this is one of the only Batman games that uses the blue and gray color scheme for the base design. Not only that, but it's got the yellow oval as well, which, alongside the yellow belt, does a great job of breaking up the gray on the suit. The ear length on the cowl is pretty much ideal, and I love the addition of the white eyes. The arm blades also have a nice sharpened edge to them, and this design even includes the trunks. While the suit doesn't exactly look great in motion, that's more of a fault of the gameplay and mechanics than the design of the suit itself. I hope we can see something similar to this design as the base suit for future Batman games, because it really works for me. Next I have the Batman suit from Injustice Gods Among Us. Now this suit does something that not many designs for Batman do, and that it actually contains aspects of both the blue and black design while giving Batman a sleek armored look, and I thought this was a really creative idea. You can see the bits of dark blue in the boots and gauntlets, and even a little bit in the cowl. The bat symbol looks pretty cool as well, and while the gray color on the bodysuit is a little bit muted, the yellow belt really breaks it up and has its own unique bat logo design on the buckle. This design reminds me a little bit of Christian Bale's Batman in the last two films of his Dark Knight trilogy, only with some additional colors added to it. Funnily enough, pressing the Start button or Options button while selecting this suit for Batman in the character menu actually results in a costume that's much more black and more akin to the design in Nolan's trilogy. Overall, this is a design for Batman that I really like, particularly for its creative use of colors. Up next I have the first suit from Batman Telltale. This suit is a nice combination of lightweight material and armor without getting too bulky. I like how the yellow belt breaks up the gray, though admittedly less than other suits in this video. The bat symbol also isn't my favorite by itself, but it fits in really well with the rest of this costume. My favorite part of this suit is definitely the cowl, and while the ears are a little short, the white comic book eyes look amazing on this cowl. Admittedly, I'm not the biggest fan of Telltale games, but this bat suit was definitely cool enough to earn a spot in this video. Getting close to the end, I have the bat suit from Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I gotta say, I really dig the design for Batman in this game. The black and gray color scheme looks great, and the gray in the bodysuit is broken up very nicely by the yellow belt. The bat symbol is also very well designed, and the subtle design pattern on the torso gives off a well-fitted armored look that doesn't limit Batman's movement at all. In addition to having a great cowl shape, this suit comes not only with the white comic book eyes, but the trunks as well. All of these aspects make Batman feel as though he leaped right off the pages of a comic book and into this game. The last design that I want to talk about is another one prominently featured in the first Injustice game, and that's the Insurgency Batman. Now I normally wouldn't go over alternate costumes like this one, but since this Batman had such a prominent role in the story of this game, I decided to count it. This suit does have a lot of gray on it, but it's broken up, quite literally, by the visible wear and tear. The yellow belt looks really cool, and the bat symbol on both Injustice suits seems to be inspired by that of the Arkham games. The arm blades are also really cool, and I love the cowl on this suit. 
It reminds me of the cow from the Keaton movies just a little bit if you look at how the base of the cow attaches to the costume. I also get reminded of the Justice Lord Batman from the Justice League animated series when I see this suit. While this suit may not work as a design for a main Batman, it definitely fit that parallel universe look that the devs were going for. And that will bring the video to an end. These were five of the best Batman designs in video games outside of the Arkham series. Let me know what your favorite Batman design outside of the Arkham series is. I've got a list of characters that I'm going to do videos like this for where I go over their best designs in video games. So let me know what character you would like to see covered in a video like this. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, drop any thoughts you may have in the comments, share this video with your friends, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Peace out, guys.